Downtown is on the rebound. That's what the Louisville Downtown Partnership says based on the number of new businesses this year. But as WDRB business reporter Katrina Helmer maps it out, downtown can't claim all of the success. Katrina? Well, the partnership says 15 new businesses opened up this year. That's encouraging news after a tough 2020, but they're not all necessarily in downtown. The lunch rush is a welcome sight. We definitely are happy with how things are going. In season, a farm to table restaurant in downtown Louisville opened this spring. Business has been good. Uh, we've been busy. It's kind of been slowly picking up every day. After the pandemic wiped out several downtown businesses, it's picking back up and in season's owner is thankful for the support. Kind of every week we're seeing more and more people, which has been great. In just four weeks, I've seen more and more people downtown. Bill Schreck is the interim director of Louisville Downtown Partnership. The organization's goal is to promote downtown as a place to live, work, and play. And it released data saying downtown is experiencing a surge in new business. Since January, 10 businesses closed, 15 new ones opened. We're expected to far exceed what happened last year. However, all 15 are not technically downtown. Six are in the central business district, known as the CBD, and nine fall outside those lines, most being in the East Market District or Nulu. WDRB asked the partnership why it included some neighborhoods and not others that are outside of downtown. The interim director responded that these boundaries have been used in the past and that these areas, quote, have a direct impact on the CBD. The number of new businesses, no matter where, is not to be diminished, but there is still a long way to go for downtown. The partnership is positive about the future. I think it's a very positive indicator that we're back and we're going to be bigger and better than we were. The partnership also says if this trend continues, it expects to see 27 new businesses by the end of the year. Katrina Helmer, WDRB News.